As the Brexit transition period nears its end, German and British nationals, in each other's countries, face a dilemma. Do we apply for citizenship or not? We've got news and advice for the end of an era. If you are considering trying to protect your status and rights as an EU national before Brexit, and you are entitled to citizenship and a passport, you need to act quickly. In this video, we will discuss what you need to do to get German or British citizenship and why you need to do it now or face having to renounce one after Brexit. We also go through the process of renouncing British citizenship. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. UK nationals' right of free movement to EU states will officially end on 31 December, as the UK government passed the new immigration bill last week. After the Brexit transition period ends, UK nationals will have to give up their British citizenship if they want to become German citizens. From December 31, 2020, at the end of the UK's Brexit transition period, the immigration status of UK nationals in Germany will change. On January 2021, UK nationals will be considered third country nationals by EU member states. In terms of citizenship, this means that if you apply for German nationality in future, you will first need to give up your British citizenship. Before the transition period ends, UK nationals can take up dual citizenship while Britain is still an EU member. According to Federal Statistics Office in 2019, 14,600 UK nationals obtained German citizenship via naturalization route, which is higher than the previous year. The increase is mainly due to the fear of losing the right to live and work in Germany, Europe's biggest economy, after Brexit. If you're considering exchanging your British passport for a German one, here are the things you should consider before deciding which route you want to follow. UK nationals can still travel to Germany and other Schengen member states with a British passport without a visa for 90 days within 180 days. However, if you are a German citizen, there are several benefits. Under the terms of the withdrawal agreement agreed between the UK and the EU, British citizens who move to Germany before December 31st can register for a residence permit, which will allow them to live and work just like pre-Brexit. Many people are perfectly satisfied to live in Germany on a residence or permanent residency permit, which allows them to live here unimpeded and retain most of the rights enjoyed previously. You should be aware that without German citizenship, you won't have the right to vote in any elections. Without the German residence permit, you may also lose access to certain jobs that are reserved exclusively for German or EU citizens. On the flip side, Giving up your UK citizenship may make returning to Britain much more difficult for you and your family in the future and could lose other benefits such as access to social security support. There are ways to regain your British citizenship, but we can talk about that in another video. If you have decided to go for the change, the first step to renouncing your British citizenship is to fill in an online form with your personal details, the nationality you are giving up, and the nationality you hope to gain afterward. After filling it in, you'll need to sign it, and also find a counter-ignitary, who can confirm that you're of sound mind, and that you believe that giving up your British citizenship is in your best interest. Along with your application, you will need to send the Home Office, proof of your British citizenship, and a letter from your local citizenship and naturalization office in Germany, stating that you will be conditionally entitled to citizenship once you've renounced your British one. Due to rules in the UK, aimed to protect its citizens from becoming stateless, your application to give up British citizenship will expire within six months. This means that, should you not receive your German passport within six months, your application to renounce your citizenship will be cancelled, and you may have to reapply. If 
you decide to leave Germany to move back to the UK, there's always the chance of regaining your British citizenship, although this will probably mean swapping one passport for the other again. If you qualify for German citizenship now, you still have time to apply and qualify for dual nationality. To qualify for a German citizenship, you need to have been a resident of Germany for at least eight years, or being married to a German national for two years, and resident in the country for three. But there can be exceptions so check with local authorities. The exception to dual nationality will still apply as long as you get your application in before the transition period ends on the 31st of December. When the Brexit transition period ends, UK nationals who apply to become German will no longer qualify for dual citizenship. If you are a German national and are entitled to British citizenship, it makes perfect sense to apply for British citizenship before the end of this transition period. Gaining British citizenship before the end of the transition period means that you can retain both your British and German citizenship. If you start your application for British citizenship before the transition period ends, Brexit will have basically no influence on your existing German citizenship. If you are already a dual citizen at this point, you do not have to choose between German and British citizenship. How you obtain British citizenship depends on whether you are married to a British citizen or not. If you are not married to a British citizen and have been living in the UK for at least six years, as a German national, exercising EU right to free movement, you are entitled to apply for citizenship and a British passport. The six years is made up of five years exercising treaty rights and a further one year with no restrictions on your stay. This is also known as permanent residency. If you are married to a UK citizen, then the period to wait is only three years. But you need to be free from immigration control. Why the rush you may say? In Germany, the Brexit transition law was passed by the German parliament, called the Bundestag, on January 17, 2019. It provides, in section 3 e 2, that Germans who have applied for naturalization in the UK, before the end of the transition period, do not lose their German citizenship. And you do not lose the chance, even if the acquisition of British citizenship, with the citizenship ceremony, does not take place until after the end of the transitional period. The important factor is to have started your application before December 31st. Swapping citizenship in 2021 onwards is a big deal, so think hard and decide quickly before you run out of time. What have you done to prepare for Brexit? Comment below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe or the UK, including help with securing your travel arrangements, I am can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.